Hello and good day students of Rome High. With next school year approaching fast, I'm sure many of you are debating which classes to sign up for, especially in the field of science where there are so many choices. Please take these few minutes to hear firsthand from some of our science teachers as they explain their courses to help you make the best decision. Thank you. I'm Andrea McKenzie and I'm the AP Biology and Honors Anatomy teacher. I have always enjoyed life sciences. When I was a kid, we had a pond in our neighborhood and some friends and I were playing down there at the pond and I found some beaver bones and I was so excited. So I ran home, got a bucket and a shovel and went back, scooped up all of the bones and went home, spread them out on the garage floor. And about that time, my mom came out and she said, Andrea, that is disgusting. My plans of building a dinosaur type museum model were foiled at the time. Later, when I was in high school, I was in a biology class and I was super shy and a quiet kid and my biology teacher was so kind. We were dissecting a starfish and she was making her way around the room and when she got to me, she exclaimed, Andrea, you've done the best dissection I have ever seen. One of the reasons that I wanted to become a biology teacher was because of my high school biology teacher. I want you to know that if you take AP Biology or Honors Anatomy, I will be there to help you figure out the hows and whys of life science and to support you along the way. I want you to know that AP Biology is challenging and you will have to work outside of class. Even if I don't assign homework, you'll need to read the chapters and study on your own. In Honors Anatomy, there will be less time spent outside of class, but we will do a big project that will take a lot of effort and we'll do some dissections. I've been teaching for about 20 years and my love is first for my students and second for my subject. I'm often called Mama McKenzie because of my kind and caring nature, just like how my biology teacher taught me. Sign up for AP Biology if you have completed the CPA Honors Biology and completed Chemistry or are taking it concurrently. And if you um, have not been on the CPA or Honors track, you can still try AP Bio. You just need to get a teacher recommendation as well. Take Honors Anatomy if you have completed your biology, chemistry, and physics. Thank you. Hi there, my name is Randy Stafford and I teach AP Physics 1 and Physics 2, the two hardest courses we teach at this high school. Don't believe that smack that the calculus teachers talk about. Physics is harder. I don't take any pride in that, it's just that's the way it is. Physics is very difficult. But there are some students who have never really felt challenged here at Rome High. If you're one of those, you really ought to take AP Physics 1. If you really want a taste of what college is like, my class is a taste of what college is like. And if you're just one of those people that you just think about stuff, you want to know how stuff works, you, you, you take things apart, you, you stare out in space and wonder what's going on there, my class is the class you ought to take. So if you're looking for a class that's going to change everything, for a class that's going to Physics 1 is a class you ought to take. But it's not for everyone. If you struggle with math, you probably don't want to take AP Physics 1. We, it is a very intensive math course. So if math comes easy to you, come on, AP Physics 1. If math is more difficult for you, you'll probably want to take uh, CPA Physics instead. So if your plan is to go to college and end up with a career in the medical field or any of the science or any engineering, you really ought to take physics in high school. Not taking it and going into one of those fields is a guarantee that long about sophomore year, you're gonna change majors to something that's not quite as rigorous. Some of you guys, if you take physics one as a junior and physics two as a senior, you never have to see physics in college. Other folks, engineers particularly, you have to have calculus-based physics, but you take my class and you will be in a position where you can pass whatever they throw you in college. I really want to encourage you to take AP Physics 1. And in addition to all that, every now and again, we blow stuff up, so there's that. My name is Sarah Brown, and I teach Honors Physics and Honors Astronomy here at Rome High. If you are fascinated by space and want to know more about what's going on in the universe past our little blue planet, astronomy is the class for you. Not only is it interesting to talk about outer space and space travel, but it's also essential to the future of mankind. The great scientific minds of today say that we will be an interplanetary species well within your lifetimes. Who knows, you may be the one that gets to travel to Mars someday. Knowing about our solar system, galaxy, and universe is just so important. In addition, 
If you're pursuing a career involving physics or math, astronomy is a special application of the laws of physics and it will provide you with even more insight into how things work. The field of astronomy is literally out of this world. Okay, that was bad. You should probably move on. Hi there, my name is Randy Stafford and I teach AP Computer Science. Don't confuse me with that other Randy Stafford who teaches physics. We are nothing alike. When I was your age, I learned how to code, and through my life, that's been one of the skills I've had, and it's a nice perk. It's a, a good thing for when you're applying for a job, or if you're working in an office, and you know how to code, you're considered like the, the smartest guy in the room. That was true of my generation. It was a nice perk, but for your generation, it's absolutely necessary. The truth is that all the jobs that make you do things are going away. In the future, the new jobs will be jobs that make you think, not jobs that make you do. Recently, I had a student tell me that my AP computer science class, he said it's hard, but not really in the way that a lot of his classes are hard. There's really not that much homework, and, and he's got a really good grade, that they're, in some respects, the tests are easy. But what he said was, it makes me think really, really hard. It makes me think harder than I have to think in any other class. And I gotta tell you, learning how to think is a good skill to have for the rest of your life. So, take AP computer science and learn how to think. You may be wondering, what science should I take? So many options, my high school future's at stake. Well, have no fear, I'll end the mayhem. The obvious choice is AP Chem. Do you want to do reactions with chemicals so cool? Balance some equations, intellectually rule the school? Does stoichiometry bring you joy? Are burettes and Bunsen burners your favorite toys? Are you excellent at solving patterns and doing math? Do you want to start your college career on the right path? Are you interested in a career of medicine of any kind? Do you want to help cure diseases that affect mankind? Will you be taking chemistry when you're in college? Do you want to be prepared with some super helpful chemical knowledge? If you answered yes, you know what to do. Sign up for AP Chem and press your boo. This class is not the easy road out. When I assign you homework, you better not pout. I warned you about the rigor, so please don't whine, but study hard, you'll do fine. I have the best stickers, I tell sick jokes. Every day to come to class, you will be stoked. Get smart in a class that is a thrill. Sign up for AP Chem with Miss Hill. Hi, my name is Peter Santamaria and I teach AP Environmental Science. Join this class to take a serious look ahead and understand that we humans have a very bright future as long as we understand and take care of some issues that are pretty obvious like climate change and, and pollution control. And during the course of the year, we take field trips to exotic destinations like the city dump, the sewage treatment plant, and a huge coal-fired plant in Cartersville. This class is dynamic because we explore many concepts in the fields of ecology, geology, geography, and biology, just to name a few. It is light on the math and light on the homework, but in order to do well in your AP exam, you need to read quite a bit. And passing the AP Environmental Science exam will put you in a better position to be accepted into that wonderful college of your dreams, working together with some effort on both our parts, and with a bit of luck, you will do well in the exam. Taking Environmental Science will make you a more informed citizen of our planet, and if nothing else, you'll at least enjoy a great cup of Cuban coffee.